Good afternoon, fellas. Pranky Day here. Okay, guys, uh, the video for right now is going to be uh, an unprecedented build that I got started and I'm about ready to start doing some painting on. It's an old uh, Monogram 1995 release of the PBY5 Catalina and 148 scale by Monogram. I had this kit since it first came out, fellas. I think I bought two of them in 1995. And uh, they were the they weren't the uh, Fabius version, which is the 5A. This is the PBY5 with the beaching gear. So uh, the paint schedule on this is going to be very simple. It's going to be black. It's going to be uh, the black uh, the black cats right out of truck. And they were most of, they were very effective back in that era, folks. Uh, that, back in World War II, the Catalina, you know, it was a very versatile, wonderful airplane for its time. You know, it's. It served throughout the war. He was, people were really intrigued by its design and what it could do. And uh, it was bought out after the war. It was bought, purchased by a lot of private owners and uh, companies as well. They used it as like transit flying boats, like going to the islands and places like that. Like, like in Catalina, they used the old Grumman Mallard and the and the Goose too. They've used and also the uh, I think the wind uh, the um, widget or something like that they used. Anyway, to make a long story short, folks, this is going to be the Black Cat Catalina out of truck in the Solomon Islands. And the Navy found out they are very effective and do most harm and damage at nighttime. With the black paint schedule and no moon or, off, or away from the profile of the moon, it's black. And the Japanese had no radars back in those days. The only thing they had uh, for more or less protection is a, is a there's direction finders and people using their ears. And uh, we were miles ahead of them in that department. And uh, so radar was pretty favorable for the Catalinas during the Second World War. And uh, these black boats were very effective. But like I say, when it, with the black paint schedule against the black and sky, what else could be a better camo? And uh, all you do is hear the winding of the Pratt & Whitney engines and pretty soon you're done. Either you're depth charged or torpedoed or bombed. And uh, they, these boats went out for long patrols, anywhere from 14 to 16 hours a day, folks. That's a long time in an airplane. And uh, the, the PPYs had very, very great range. As a matter of fact, incidentally, all flying boats of that era at the time when they were become very popular was back in the middle 1930s. When, when the Pan Am boys were flying uh, M10 Clippers and 314 Clippers and Sikorskis. And uh, so consolidated, which is a combination between Convair and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Convair and also uh, consolidated, I guess. I don't know. I had two different companies that, that, that merged together to call it consolidated. Now, they were very brave when making flying boats. Now, the first example that the uh, Consolidated Aircraft Company built was the P2Y uh, Admiral and also the uh, the Commodore, which were very popular. The Coast Guard more or less used those type of flying boats for a rescue or sub-patrol observation and anything which was used for and designed for it. And uh, they knew they could do better, so they made the PBY back in 1935 or 33, I believe. I think it's 35. They came out the YB25, I mean the B, uh, the Y, PB2Y, and also the the, uh, the Y PBY5, which are earlier versions of the Catalina. And the Catalina was a very versatile flying boat, it was a very wonderful job, uh, flying boat, and uh, consolidated even one step further. By 19, late in 1942, they made the amphibious version with the retractable landing gear. That means that, that Dumbo boat can fly off water and run land. And it's very versatile. Wonderful airplane. Okay guys, enough chat right here. Let's swing over and take a look at this uh this PB2 PBY flying boot. I keep getting that damn Coronado one mind. I got that one too. Okay here it is guys. I'll zoom in a little bit get a little closer here. It's all in its entirety, all painted up, masked off, is ready to be painted uh, black. Uh, you can't no pre shading on this, but you, what you can do is control your pre shading on this color here. Is is I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
I'm going to paint this thing all aluminum. Once this thing's all done, then I'll go back over flat black paint, airbrushing it, because by using that uh, flat black against the uh, aluminum will give its uh, original uh, look of a uh, worn out black, immersed from the sun and seawater. So instead of go ahead painting over this gray primer, which is optional, but if you want a real good realistic finish, fellas, if you're making the black cat Catalina, Always paint the whole aircraft aluminum color. Go over the airbrush, feather in the aluminum, bring out the black, and uh, you got a pretty realistic look of flying boat. That's how this is going to be done. Okay, guys, uh, right here, as you can see, it's all done. It's got, I got it sitting on a beaching gear. The 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 the, uh, the top the tires on the beaching gear will be painted separately. And uh, so I could not find a better place to display this than on its beaching gear. And uh, what's really significant about this kit, anybody who's got this 1995 release, this Catalina, the PBY-5, with, with the beach gear, this here kit, you look at it very carefully inside, you can see mold process on the landing gear wells, which were being, which, which have revolutionized after this kit was released they made the the amphibious version you take a look at the inside of the fuselage box you'll see the outline of the wheel well so uh, that's just a little point that's a little technical note right there or more or less an observation so that's kind of like a treat right there it's got two interior stamps inside the wings Ravel 1995 I mean a, mon a mon monogram 1995 and uh, this was a wonderful kit. The kit goes together like a dream, fellas. There's not, there's not very much uh, filler to be used on this here kit. I mean, the only filler that I use on most likely is is around the around the cowing areas, because you got the the, the cow engine cow areas composed of one, two, uh, three, four parts, and actually the firewall main cowing uh, net net sail that fits on top of here is just a little bit undersized a little bit and it presents some kind of a gap. So you got to put filler. Right around that area right there. That's about it. And the rest of it, uh, if you if you were using a, a jet instant jet acrylic glue, or use your favorite glue of choice, uh, which is to me X or thin, or this stuff. When you put it together, you'll see that plastic meld together. Once it makes a puddle right there, let it dry. When it comes dry, you take your nice sanding board right here. And go right over it because all that extra plastic that oozed out from the cement from being softened will serve as a filling agent. Okay, guys, this is about as far as I got this PBY. The next picture was going to be uh, it's going to be all painted up and uh, probably might be done. Uh, virtually, I think it's going to be finished. So I have the shit had the final reveal. This probably by Saturday. It'll be all finished up. At this video, I have an update. On Clint, the Mad Modeler, and Frankie Day Model Builds Buddy Build of the, the Ravel 132nd Scale F4 Phantom. That'll be shaking up next, folks. So stay tuned for that video. I'll have that one posted right after this. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we'll bring the Catalina, we'll, excuse me, we'll bring the camera <laughs> over yours truly here. And I'll finish up the video. Okay, guys, that's about it right there on the Catalina. I have built one of these things in ages, so it's, it was calling on me. And uh, so, at this video, guys, stay tuned for the uh, F the F4 Phantom uh, group build, the Mad Modeler and myself. And again, like I say, fellas, if anybody out there has got one in their stash, thinking about buying one, you guys can join in if you wish. If not, just follow the uh, just follow the uh, the videos. And that'll be it. Okay, guys, so it's time for you to get out of here right now. So i got to get this video going so I get it posted. Okay, guys, it's Frankie Day signing off. May God bless each and one of you. I hope you all had a very wonderful, safe Memorial Day holiday and everything is fine and no one got thrown in the brig for being too loaded and stuff. And, and uh, I'm, I'm very pleased that everybody had a good time. I know I did. I cooked out a lot, but it's goes along with the holiday and uh, 
That'd be it. Okay, please subscribe. Make Mama happy. Happy modeling. Stay tuned for the Mad Modeler at Frankie Day. Buddy Build of the Revell F4 Phantom at 132nd scale. Frankie Day signing off. Catch you later. Bye, fellas.